This is tutorial 1-8 on page 33 in the GIS tutorial 1 book. And the first thing, first thing we have to do is save this as tutorial 1-8. And I've already done that, so I'm just going to have to write on top of the one that's already there. And we want to go to the table of contents, right click on U.S. Cities and open up the attribute table. And this is the data that is hiding behind the cities. And right now, it's not showing us all the records. There we go. So these are all the rows. And it says, scroll down here until we find Chicago. Notice that these three cities here in Florida are highlighted in blue. And the reason they're highlighted in blue is because those are the ones that have been selected previously when we're on the previous tutorial. So, and we want to look for Chicago, and there is Chicago. And it says if it's selected here, it should also be selected on the map, and there is Chicago on the map. And uh, these are no longer selected because selecting Chicago deselected them. Um, now we're going to just try to put this over to the right a little bit here, and we want to go down here and choose um, Show All Records. Uh, actually, that's not what we want to do. We want to uh, clear our selection up here. So clear selection, and that gets rid of the one we had selected. And if I were just to go here and you know start holding the control key down and doing all these multiple selections here, uh, you see as I select them, uh, they become selected also over here on the map. Let's go click our clear selection button. And now we've just got red dots on the map. Now on the bottom of page 33, we're on number one. Select all cities in Florida on the map. Okay, so here's the map, and I want my select, and let me see, is it still doing it by circle? Let's try that again, and yes, I think it is, so there we go. And you see the Florida cities are selected. And now we're on the top of page 34. In the U.S. Cities table, click the Show Selected Records button. And so we got some buttons down here. This one says show all of them. This one says just show the selected ones. So if you have them selected, you can just make those visible in your table. And then we want to go back and make all of them visible again. Now we're on uh, switch selections on page 34. In the U.S. Cities table, click the option of the table options button. And we want to click on Switch Selection. And that selects everything but the Florida cities. And then it says Clear the Selected Features. So let's go up here and Clear Selection. And now we're back to our red dots again. Moving to the top of page 35, uh, we want to move a field. Field is a column. In the U.S. Cities table, click the gray title of the Population 2000 or POP 2000. And uh, right there, drag it to the right of the name field. The name field is way over here on the left. And I just click and drag. And you see the red line following me. And when it gets to the right of name here, I can let go. And now I've got POP2000. So you can rearrange these. Uh, if you've ever worked with a database like Access or anything like that in the past, uh, this is pretty similar to working with Access. Sort a field. In the U.S. Cities table, right-click the name field and click on Sort Ascending. So right-click and do Sort Ascending. And now we have all of our cities in order alphabetically. Uh, then we want to right-click on the population column here. We want to do Sort Descending, and it'll give us the highest population city at the top and um, in decreasing order all the way down to the lowest one that's on this list, which uh, appears to be Tampa. Okay, we'll skip the year turn and we'll skip over to page 36. And uh, we do advanced sorting. Uh, move 
the state field to the left of the population 2000 field. So let's just click on this and drag. And we want left of, got to let go first. And now click and drag. And put it to the left of the population 2000. And right click on state and choose advanced sorting. And that will give us the advanced sorting dialog box here. And we want to sort first by state. This kind of looks like the sorting dialog box in Excel. Then sort by population. And I want that to be descending. So now if I click on OK, I will have them sorted by state. And um, I wanted that descending, apparently. Let me go back and check on that advanced. And this one should be ascending. This one should be descending. OK, now we've got them in alphabetical order by state. And so if you pick any state, like uh, Arizona here, uh, Phoenix, then Tucson, then Mesa. If we look at California here, which has quite a few states on this list, uh, these numbers are all in descending order. OK, let's move to the top of page 37 and get statistics. I want to close the table. So let's just drag over here and click on the X. And let's, uh, we want to clear our selection here. And now we want to go to the 48 contiguous states. We've already got that here. Let's go to 48 contiguous and that's what we get. In the table of contents, right click US states, click selection, and click make this the only selectable layer. So right click on this and make this the only selectable layer. Hold down the Shift key and use it to select features. And use the Select Features tool to select the state of Texas and the four states adjacent to us. So we've still got this. Um, let's click on and um, I want to select by a click here. Shift click. Whoops, I did a control click. Shift click. Shift click. Shift click. Shift click. There we go. In the table of contents, right click US states and click open the attribute table. Now we'll see the data hiding behind every state. OK, it's a little bit wide. I'm going to just narrow it a little bit here so I can see both edges of it. Scroll to the right and right click the column heading for the POP 2010 field and click statistics. So let's go to the right here. Maybe that's over way on the far end. And I uh, went too far. So we're looking for POP. Twenty ten right there. And we want to right click and we want to choose statistics. So here we get some statistics, uh, kind of a meaningless table or a chart over here, and just a little bit of statistics. OK, so let's turn to the top of page 38. And let's uh, close this. And the table of contents, let's close this one as well. In the table of contents, um, right click US states and click properties. And we want to go to the Fields tab and click on the Turn All Fields Off button. Okay. Then we want to turn on State Name. Then we want White, Black, American, Eskimo, I believe, uh, Asian, Other, and Hispanic. So. We want white, black, American Eskimo, Asian, other, and Hispanic. So that appears to be all the racial groups. And in the table of contents, right click US states and click open attribute table. So I click on OK here. And in the table of contents, right click on US states and open attribute table. And now the only ones we see are the ones that we just selected a minute ago. And so that makes it a little bit easier when you've got lots and lots of columns here. It makes it easier for you to focus on just a handful. And we're going to close the attribute table. And then we are going to save this. 
And that brings us to the end of tutorial 1-8.